What's up, people? GNR TV, streaming done right. It has all the channels that you would want. You know, the regular channels, channels from out of state, pay-per-views, sports, the movie channels, porn. It has over 2,000 channels in general. Over 2,000 channels. $20 a month for two devices now. Not one, but two devices for 20 bucks, and you get all that amazing stuff. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, there's no sports right now. There's not really many pay-per-views. Well, guess what? There is sports because UFC is back. And there's pay-per-views because guess what? UFC is back, and the rest of the sports will be back eventually, and it's worth it. This app is freaking amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I've had it for a little over a year now. I'm never going to get rid of it, and I love it. I love it so much. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, you need to get it. And enjoy the rest of the show. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Station's mask. And we're live. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Fucking. It was nice out today, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was nice. The temperature wasn't so hot. It was like only 80. Wasn't bad. I think the high I got to was like 85, but I had the train. I took the train jam out, went to my dad's, hung out there. All the, well, I went there around like, I think I got there around like 2, 2 30 ish, and didn't get home till like 8 o'clock. Nice. But uh, yeah, it was good. It was. It just felt good to get out the house for like more than just running air. I mean, like, I, I, started, I did start going to his house and stuff here and there, and my mom's and stuff. But it felt good to get out for more than just running, like going to the grocery store, running errands or. Going to grab shit. Yesterday I went yeah. to finally, like from the barbershop, it felt so great to just go back to the barbershop, even though it was like dead in there. And I, I guess you have to like call ahead of time. Yeah. I figured, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I uh, went there and I see like on the sign it says, you know, call to make an appointment. So I just called them and they were, I was like, you know, do you guys have any openings? The guy was like, how soon? I was like, or no, the guy said when. I said ASAP. I was like, I'm right out. And I told him, I was like, I'm right outside. He's like, yeah, just come in. But it was like dead in there. I want you don't have to. I guess because we're in phase three, you don't have to wear your masks in there anymore. And because there's it's you, like it was me, and I think there was two bar, three bar. No, there's actually it was four barbers, but one left for whatever. I don't know. He, I'm sure he came back after I left. But there was so there was three in there at one point cutting. Well, technically, you are supposed to wear a face mask, and they're supposed to wear face mask. Um, wash everything afterwards. They do do. They do do that. Yeah. So I don't to, know. Well, for certain parts, you had to, I had to take my mask off, like getting behind my ears and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And like cleaning my face up. It's like I, I can't get that. I could do it myself, but you know they do better. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. But um, yeah, it wasn't bad though. It just felt good to get a good haircut and just like I was thinking about it, man. I'm like, I need a haircut i'm tired of looking crazy i could have you know the way my hair was looking i could have been in this fucking movie <laughs> I, just, my, I gotta do my hair again it's starting to get long yeah and it's getting to, and it was getting, like the days this past besides today this past this week was fucking hot like the weekend it was it was like hot in that like this on the desert in this freaking movie right here i would say a worse heat because it was like humid it was like that nasty sticky hot this is like a dry heat like, that, yeah. Yeah, it was I had my central air on, man. Ceiling fan. It was bad, yo. Balls sticking. At fast. night, my AC, my little AC, I got in my room now. Turn that shit on at night so I can sleep good. <laughs> yeah, ours, like my wife's downstairs sleep right now. She has AC on, like a little, well, AC on and like a box fan. We put that yeah, on. that's what we do. Have a box fan in front of it. Yeah. Well, no, we have. I have the box. The so the AC is like right here. It's, my bed's here. The AC is like right here. And the box fans like on this side, so when the AC sucking, it kind of pushes it back. Oh, okay. 
you know those little black like a fan similar to the one I showed you over here. Yep. But a, a, similar to that, but it's the black ones. It's like the honey Honeywell ones. Yep. I'm to bring that if if I remember, I'll bring that from up from downstairs. I'll bring that and put it on like this desk thing by my bed and turn it towards the bed and kind of have it cocked up so it sucks in the air and blows it towards us more. It it helps so much. It does. But they say with those fans, because, you know, heat rises, cold air drops, they say with yep. those fans, kind of have them slant clacked like that because it'll suck the cool air up, too, and like, push it in. So if I remember when we're done recording, I will bring that back up to the room. I do have to get my dog his Benadryl. So. Yeah, allergies. Yeah, and it's only, like, around this season. I don't know what it is, but it's, like, he gets to, like, right here, he'll start, like, licking and biting a lot here. Uh, all, I mean, it's, it's normal, though, for a lot of dogs, I guess. I see. I yep. see freaking commercials about it where you can get like some sort of medication for them. It's probably as expensive as fuck, but you try R. Kelly in it? Nah, it wasn't. It was a jellyfish thing. I would have. <laughs> but um, now nah, real quick, when we brought him, we brought him to this is a couple of years ago. We brought him to the vet and we're they seen it or something. Yeah, he just has allergies. Like you can just give him Benadryl, like over the counter Benadryl, or off the shelf. Well, I don't know what you call it. Off the shelf. Put it in like a treat. Give him Benadryl and he should be fine. Give him, give him it. They said you can either give him to it with a treat or with his meal. So I just give him to him with a treat. I give him two in the, two in the morning and two at night after he eats. Nice. And it helps, helps somewhat. I told you before, I told you the other day or whatever. Where is this little brown? I cook for him now. Which is funny. Because we were teasing Roll about it. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> but, shit. He tears that freaking food up. <laughs> he tears shit up. Like today, like, uh, what did I give him today? Well, I made it yesterday. It's, it was salmon. I seen that. People online, that was a bug. It's not a ghost. I seen an orb. I wasn't an orb, it was a fucking bug, and I hope it dies. If it was an orb, Aaron would be running down the stairs already. And James would be like, yo, let me come over there and check this shit out. Fuck, hell yeah. I'm like, I'm on my way. Hold on, <laughs> let me get a recorder. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, James, we're going ghost hunting. Yep, damn sure. Yeah. But no, it was real quick, what was it? Salmon, peas, like sweet potato chunks, white rice. Salmon peas, sweet potato chunks, rice, celery. And I think that's in blue. I I made all that yesterday. Like, I put it into a big-ass pot and just boiled it all together. The rice was already cooked, though. The salmon and shit. And I did the same thing. I made two pies. I made the salmon one, and I made one with uh, ground turkey. And then the same ingredients. I froze that, but I froze that. The other one's in the fridge. But he dog, he tears that shit up. And then I put, now I put, um, uh, I started sprinkling blueberries on top for breakfast and lunch. For, or oh, breakfast. wow. All right. Because blueberries are like a superfood, and they have like every benefit in them. And I was like, I Googled it, obviously, made sure I can give it. Yeah. I just did it. But it's like, As of right now, they can't have like grapes, raisins. Yeah, grapes, raisins. Yeah, like that. Like anything with like acid or something like that. Some citrus fruits they can have, though. Like they can have. I don't know if pineapple's kind of citrus. They can have oranges. They just might not like them because of the citrus. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But there is something like if you give them apples, don't give them the core and the seeds. Yeah, because the um, arsenic. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah, man. Oh, and baby, sometimes I'll cut up baby carrots and throw it on top of his food so he has a crunch. Because they say a, cr a crunch is good for their teeth. Okay. Strawberries are good for them, too. They said every now and then strawberries because they're sweet, but it helps clean their teeth. Which seems weird, but I mean that is weird. Yeah, didn't know that one. Yeah, I, I just figured this shit out the other day. Like, yet when, it was yesterday. Probably the I know my dog. She loves carrots. Oh, she loves dog. strawberries, bananas. Mine does too. We actually, what well, we did, well, my wife, because she made a cake for my father for Father's Day and had bananas on it, in it. But she um froze some bananas. She put the rest of them in the freezer because nobody here really eats them like that. She's doing keto, but she can't really have them. I don't really care. I like, I love them. I, if they're made in something, I'll eat them. But uh, the dog can have them. But you can only, again, because of sugar and stuff, you can only have so much at a time. So just threw them in the freezer. And you nice. frozen. He likes it. 
at all. Okay, I swear to you people, after this last thing that I'm about to talk about, <laughs> we're going to get into the movie. Hang on one second, because this shit is bothering the hell out of me. So, next pay period, well, like that Tuesday, next time we get paid, I'll say, I'm starting keto. Hey. Because I'm just like. Give it a shot, man. Now's the time, because I want to lose weight bad, man. And I'm like, now's the time to do it because I work from home. I'm going to be working from home at the very least. And I feel like if it's one of those things that gives me the shits or, you know, because your body's changing, I'm home. So it's not sure. a, it's not like I'm going getting I'm going to the bathroom ten times a day at work. I can just do it at home. If I have to, I'll bring my laptop and take a shit while I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm just trying to I feel like it's gonna take that long. Oh. Now, there's no shame in my game. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, so I'm just like, and I mean, keto is really not. Some of the stuff that she eats, I've eaten for dinner with her, and it's it's not bad at all. It's like no, it's not bad. It's just it's um. It's tough. It's and fun. it's really hard. The low carb stuff It's like you can't have breads. You can't have like all the good shit you want. You know what I'm saying? My, I think my big well, the thing that I'm gonna do different than what she does, I guess I'm gonna do kind of a lazier keto because like I'll say it's, I'm gonna give myself one day a week where I can eat wherever the fuck I want. Okay, so you're doing a cheat day. One, but just one day. So it'll probably be like a Saturday, and like, I say Saturday because obviously one is the weekend. That's like the main reason. Two, like say, the fights. If I have people over for the fights, or from going out for the fights, or whatever the case may be. And then if it's a weekend where there's no fights, I don't eat crazy. And then because like you got to reset too, so I might just keep it on Saturday because you know you got to reset for Sunday, get back into ketosis and all that. Like it takes, I think it takes three days to be in ketosis if you're eating the keto stuff. So I figure if I do it Saturday where I have my cheat day and then reset Sunday. And, you know, Sunday through Friday, I'm eating good. But Saturday, I'm eating whatever. And I'll see how it goes. I'll try it out. And if it it's effect, like, I'm going to give it, I can't even say, maybe I'll give it, like, a month and see how it goes. Take it serious, give it a month. And if it goes really good for me, then fuck it. Go for it. It's, it's far as, certain, like, the main thing is carbs and, like, processed foods. Yep. And... I, I'm not going to say I don't like bread, because I do, but I've been getting used to as far as, like, bread stuff that you eat bread with. Like, burgers, for example. I started eating those just getting, it's like having the patty with bacon and all that other stuff on it, but no bread, no bun. Oh, you just been eating it on the plate with a fork? Like, just cutting pieces? Here and there, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just seen that bastard here. Land somewhere where I can... You know what I need to invest in, and I might grab one soon. Is one of those. Is it a moth? I don't know if it's a moth or one of those like beetle things. Yeah, uh, okay. Those electric fly swatters. Oh, I got, I got, I got one of them. I, I used to have two. I need to grab one. You can get them. It like, works. Oh yeah. They work. I, I sit outside and I kill like eighteen wasp. Nice. I just want to kill this fucking thing. Hang on, hang on. I don't know where it went now. I'll keep this right here just in case. <laughs> so, yeah, keto. Keto in two weeks. Let's see what it does. But, um, yeah, so the hills have eyes now. Mm, that, that was random talk. That was random talk. With Sir Sturdy and James. <laughs> and you're going to get that on this show. For, for, the, ad, for the, the listeners, the people who really listen to this show, that, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get this random shit. At any point, this just happened to be the beginning. Sometimes <laughs> it doesn't happen until you know later. It's true. Sometimes it's like right in the middle of us talking. It's like it'll just come to mind and just like, oops. Yep. It's all good. I do want to get another green screen thing. I know I have so many of them, but this one that's in my chair, like the shitty one, keeps falling apart. I want to get one that's more like the curtain type, like the sheet, bed sheet type. Yeah, gotcha. Put it over the chair, and maybe put one over this fucking desk, or put this one over the desk. Let's go. So. Bills have eyes. 1977. 1977 version, yep. James was about 17 when this movie came out. Nope, wasn't born yet. That's really I'll, cool. I'll still own my father's nutsack. 
Oh shit. Uh, well, that's not true. He probably I'm sure he released that cannon a few times before eighty three. you were born in eighty three? Yep. January, man. January fourteenth. I can't really ask if you're sure of your birthday. You sure? No, hold on, let me check. <laughs> let me look at my license real quick. I'm trying to cancel a line to you. Oh, I'm getting up there, man. I'm getting old. Okay, man. I'll be turning 38. You know what they say, if you don't eat popcorn on Fridays, you probably won't eat it on Thursday either. I don't eat popcorn at all. It's nasty. See? But anyway, um, what did you think about this movie? Like me? For No, go ahead. I'll let you go first. Uh, well, okay. So uh, The Hills of the Eyes, I didn't see this version in a long ass time. I totally forgot about it because I seen the cover. And I was like, this don't look familiar. Like Then I looked at the year. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, okay. That's why I messaged you. I was like, is it the 1977 version? Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah. I was like, okay, let's go. So then I was watching and I started remembering it a little bit. And I was like, oh, okay. But it was good. It was decent. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I, as of right now, I think I like the reboot, remake, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Just because it had more action and, and the people looked more deformed. Like more inbred, like mutation from the um, the bomb site. Yeah, the military. The military site. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah, one, yeah. they look kind of normal, except the father had a busted up split nose. <laughs> you, you know what bothered me though? How the when the um, I guess it was his father mm -hmm. was talking about him, like, oh, he was twenty pounds, born twenty pounds, came out sideways, hairy. He then by the age of ten, he was my size. No, that dude was a regular six foot one hairy man. That's it. That dude was not no giant. I was like, and he broke through the like the whole side of the house. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit, this dude is big. Then you see him just normally. I'm like, this is a regular dude. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Over exaggerations, like going fishing, called a fucking like two inch bass or something. And they call it like a 12 incher. Yep. I don't know, but it was still good though. I really thought the dude on the cover, I thought he, I thought he was the main character before I watched it, and then I re realized I remembered. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he would have done a better job as the main guy. You think so? Yeah, if he did it like more serious and he wasn't like the second in command, like ho oh, ho, oh, like doing the goofy yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. But um. For me, I did. I'm. I think I'm with you on that. Like, I do. Excuse me. I do really, really, really enjoy this. But I think I'm with you as far as I think the remake is better. Not that this is a bad movie, because this is an excellent movie. But I think the remake is better as far as what you're saying. With the, they look more deformed and more action. Like a lot more is going on. Yep. And it's just crazy. This is crazy and creepy. Though, especially you got to think for its time. Yeah, it's true. You know, nineteen seventy-seven. I mean? Seventy-seven. And like, well, if you got broke down, and it wasn't just a breakdown, the dude, took the whole axle ripped off. Yeah, the axle. And the, see, see, this is the thing I love about horror movies. But I'm just like, why the fuck don't you listen? I know movies have to movie, but this movie, when they're at the gas station, the guy is like, he tells him, "You don't want to take your family there." Yeah. He straight up tells him. And you have all kinds of horror movies that pretty much do that. You got Friday the 13th with Crazy Ralph. And there's others I can't think of off the top of my head, but it's just like, hey, look, you got that crazy person. I believe in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, somebody warns, I know in the remake, at least, the chick warns them. Before. It's always the rundown gas station in the middle of nowhere. For one, why are you even stopping at that gas station? You shouldn't be nowhere in, in the <laughs> neighborhood where there's only one gas station and nothing else around for like fucking a thousand miles. Like, where are you going that you take a, Oh, I'll take a shortcut. This is a shortcut. No motherfucker. It's not a shortcut. You stay on the goddamn highway. I don't care if there's traffic or not. You don't take no side dirt roads. If you're not familiar with it. Nah, it's, it's like, <laughs> it's like, makes no sense. Then you got this gas station that's open. How are you running that thing? One pe one person a year comes. Mm-hmm. 
What, what about your taxes on that gas station? That shit should have been bankrupt and shut down a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's no traffic there. It's not anymore. But no, but it's um but that's how you set up the movie. You know, it, it that's a that's one of the scare factors is like you get lost in the middle of nowhere. There's no and back then there was no cell phones. And you so, probably, Yeah, you're, there was no cell phones and if there was you wouldn't have service. Yeah, there was like no service. They couldn't even use their C B radio. Even though the other people's walkies and shit were working no problem. But yeah, you break down. Then the dude. Then that's another funny thing. The one that volunteered to walk back seven miles or wherever the hell it was. Mm -hmm. He he retired cop because he has heart condition. You're they're gonna let all those all those young people are gonna let him hike it mm -hmm. with a bad heart in the desert <laughs> to a gas station. I was like, I'm like, I was like, oh my god, he's gonna die. You know what I do? You know what I, that is that's a great point. And really quick, just. For the listeners out there, I'm going to have Susie Laner on tomorrow, which I'm going to, I might even drop this episode, the the same, this episode, and then the um interview this in the same week. Oh, well. So this will jump ahead of a lot of episodes, because what I'm, what I've been doing, and I'm going to the cat out the bag, meow, meow, is. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was very unnecessary. Was oh, about, it was it. Okay, I, I don't apologize. But anyway, about to cut out the bag, and I'm gonna. What I've been doing lately, if you've been paying attention, is I've been, like I told you, like when episodes are coming out, I think I did it started like after the day before, like episode one. I'm up to like episode 118, it's in the queue right now, as far as getting ready to drop when they, you know, for the dates. But um, I've been dropping a lot of my interviews before movie reviews just to get the interviews out, and I feel. Even my newer interviews, but like what I've been doing is like some of my older interviews, I'm getting those out, the ones I just haven't got out the current video. I'm dropping, like I'll drop an old one, or older one, then a new one, older one, new one. These ones I've done over the past few days, or a week even. So I'm gonna drop, I'll probably drop this with that, like drop this that Tuesday, and drop that one that Thursday. Okay. But anyway, she played Brenda Carter in here, in this movie. She was one of the main girls. The girl with the orange shirt on at one point. Um... The one that has the baby? The older? Or is the younger blonde chick? It's the blonde one. The younger blonde. Okay, so she's the younger daughter. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so, that's cool. Yeah, I'm going to have her on tomorrow. But yeah, like I was saying, like I've been... I'm just doing it like that because I feel like... Well, just one big reason is just to get caught up. So I'm like, all right, let me get these. And then another thing is, like, I feel getting those interviews out is good because, you know, I get them out, get them out the way, and then I'll start dropping movie reviews, like, boom, 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 boom. Which interviews I'm pretty much, I'm almost caught up with, I think. Then I got a shit ton of movie reviews. Most of them is me and you. Most of them is fucking me. That's true, yeah. Quarantine podcasting, people. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You have the free time, you get someone who's available, and you just go. And I mean, as far as going back to work, working from home, I'll still be potting. I'll just, if there's no overtime, you know, our schedule's 8 to 4, I'll say I'll record between 6 or 7 p.m. and, like, the latest 10 p.m. as far as starting. And I might even push that back to from 8 to 11, and just so I can have some time after work, hang out with the wife for a couple of hours and, you know, I got to figure that part out. That, we'll see. But, um, yeah, like, I'm I just won't be recording during the day anymore once I'm working from home. Yeah. Unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, now back to this. Okay. I, uh, as you know, I have a movie playing. I like how the, what do you call them? The people, the hill people, I don't even know what the hell you call them. Yeah, that, well, what the, oh, I had to quote what the father call him. Fuck. I forgot the call, the father called him when he was explaining to the, uh, the retired cop. He called him a name or something like that. It but made I, me laugh. But, anyway, but uh, yeah, I like, they're like just hill people. Desert hill people, I guess. I like how they were fucking with the family a lot. Like even from a distance. With the walking, yeah, at one point. Make, like, like they're perfect, like uh, mimicking the dogs. Mm -hmm. Yo, by the way, that one dog beast is a beast. 
Yeah, he is. That dog, you know, he'll stalk and everything like a tiger. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that he was just sitting there like, come on, walk by me. Yep, yep, gotcha. All right. Walk, uh, uh, what the, I, forget, I don't remember the guy's name. But Actually, not- it's this dude right here on the cover. Ripped his ankle apart. Mm-hmm. Ripped his throat out. Then before that, the brother pushed him off the cliff. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Like, drop kicked him in the back. <laughs> yep. Yo, that dog was like, I was like, yo, he's going to be the hero of the movie. Definitely, definitely. Too but, bad about the other dog, man. They sh- they actually showed the picture of the dog gutted, like all the insides hanging out. It's fucked up, yeah. I was like, damn. I was like, oh, man. Usually when they kill a pet, they don't show it. You just hear the yelp, and you're like, oh, dog died. Mm-hmm. I hate when they show it. Sorry for all that noise, people. My microphone thing. Fall again. But yeah, so how many total? So hold on. How many there was the one girl was trying to escape the family. She didn't like it. Yeah. Um. So her, the mother that you hardly ever seen. That's true. I forgot about her. You forget about her sometimes. Yeah, because you don't see her until basically uh, one spot and be, uh, towards the middle, then at the end. Yeah, you forget all about her. Um. Then it was this one, the bald one. Uh, the really hairy one, the one who was like the lookout, the one got dropped, uh, pushed off the cliff. Then the father with the... The father with the split, no, the leader. Then there was another one, the one who got stabbed in the leg, was chasing okay. him. So there was six total? Yeah. So six of these uh, inbred hill people... Actually, I don't think they're inbred. That's another thing they got wrong, because I think that's what the father said. He... Went into the desert, and I think he kidnapped a prostitute mm-hmm. and forced her to stay in the desert and made babies. Hey, it happens like that sometimes. So it's not inbred. They're just mountain people. Fucked up. People. Carnivores. They were going to eat the baby. It was tender. Yep. Tender. Uh, for for thing for living in a mountain and no education or anything, he knew about Thanksgiving and everything. But you got to... How long was he up there for? Gets, I don't. That's a good point. I don't know. Father said he's like basically destroying everything. Killed his wife. Yeah. He has like an anger problem, so he ran to the mountains or something in the hills. I don't know. It's, but it's crazy. It's like you know the basic horror movie where they basically trap you. Yeah. Like the fighter jets. I didn't understand at first. I thought that was part of their plan. That's I was like, one, I was like, one of them have a fighter jet, because that's what basically made the car crash. It was like he flying mad low over it. The, yeah, but that that's like their training spot. There really shouldn't be anybody there. It's just like where they train, I guess, flying or whatever. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, wait a minute, I was a little confused there. And but the, for one, the father starts speeding. You have a baby in the back seat. That made no damn sense. Like you, you're not only was he speeding, but you're speeding on an area you don't know. Like you're speeding on a. It's not like you're. Speeding down a nice paved road, you're on a fucking dirt desert road. Just and it's always a station wagon. <laughs> Every time, station I, wagon pulling a trailer. That's how you go on family vacations, dude. Oh, Jesus! Going a station wagon back in those days. And I don't know. Made no sense. Like they're in the middle of nowhere. There's no traffic. He could have pulled over. He could have slowed down. He took the fucking map out of his face and like, listen, what the fuck? You shut the hell up. You know, start arguing with the family. But no, he's flooring it with the map in his face. Can't see shit. He was basically like, "Take Jesus, take the wheel." As soon as listen to this, man. If I'm going somewhere, and you you know you go somewhere, you kind of get that gut feeling. Like I don't got a good feeling about this. Okay, and so you still go with it. Fucking eyes, right? Looks like I was crying. <laughs> you were from, from the meow things I did earlier. <laughs> um, it was so horrible, horrible, it made you cry. <laughs> on camera, on camera. So anyways, you um, you know, you, like you, we've all had that gut feeling for whatever reason. Like even if it's around certain people, give you that that bad energy. It's like ah, I'm not really. And then something crazy, something not crazy like this, but something happens, like a fight happens involving that person. That person gets kicked out of a party, whatever the case may be. Now, if you get that vibe, that gut feeling, like you know what, going here doesn't feel like a bad, doesn't seem like a good idea. And on top of that, someone. You know, you go to get gas somewhere. Someone's like, yo, look. Motherfuckers down there are wilding. You don't want to fuck with those people. Don't bring your family. 
Oh, that's enough for me. Yo, he could have easily said extra stuff too. He could have said, "Yo, they fucking they're cannibals." Mm -hmm. You know all that shit. It was crazy, man. And for what? All just to go to a silver mine. Oh, let's take a detour. They're on their way to Los Angeles, California. But the the father wanted to stop at a silver mine. Fuck that! I'm going. Not like he said he owns it. I don't remember. I, I was. I don't. I don't know. He might have said that. He's like, oh, everybody's still in my silver or something. And someone was like, there haven't been silver there for years, or some shit like that. I don't know. Yeah, but he. <laughs> I would have just went, took my black ass back home, or just kept going to California. You know, you know what? I just go to California. For one, if I'm in the car and someone says, "Yo, we're making a detour through this desert." No, I don't like hot. We're not going anywhere no. where there's fucking that much heat. You're like, listen, you're going to California, stay on the highway, we're going. Fuck that shit. First of all, you're lucky that you got me going this far in a vehicle, in a car. Now, I don't mind being in vehicles, but I have my limits. I don't need to be in a vehicle for over, I'll say, three hours. I'm like, okay, that, that's enough. That's more than enough way more than enough for me. Some people love it. And I know some people, oh, yeah, but you have muscle cars. You like racing. Listen, when I'm racing my car, I'm not driving down. It's not a three-hour race. No. <laughs> it's, it's like a three-second. <laughs> it's how fast your car goes. Like my car, in a quarter mile, the case it went was like a 1478, 79. So let's say an average of 15 seconds to go from point A to point B. That's it. And then I go back up, park the car, and then I go sit in the bleachers or whatever the case may be. It doesn't take three hours. That's too fucking long. Yep, I agree. So going, so going from, well, who knows where they're traveling from going to California. But I'm, I'm assuming it's a few states, it's a couple states over. So yeah, I, I don't know. If the, I don't even know if they say that. I think they just say we're on our way to California. They didn't say where they're coming from, I don't think. I don't know if they did or not. That's one and two. I just realized I never p tried to even look at the license plate. Oh, shit. Yeah, good point. I didn't either. They might not even show it, though. You never know. They might not show it. But, I mean, damn, that car is fucked up. The fucking wheel sitting like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's all fucked up, man. He, he fucked up. Yo, and they got the baby bundled up. Yo, it's like... It does... I know... Hot as hell. Yeah. In deserts, though, like it's hot during the day, but at night it gets really, really, really cold. Well, I'm talking about towards the end. The baby was bundled up when he was running through the mountains with it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That baby would overheat and die. That was starving me and eat for like hours. Mm hmm. Dehydration. I don't know. It was crazy, man. But it was still, it was a good movie, though. Like, it, um. It's, it's, it is, it is a good movie. It's a fun movie. And it's, I mean, for its time, it's really good. I do feel it still stands up to this day, my opinion. Even though we both agree that the re I feel the remake is better. This is actually one of the better remakes that I always forget about, forget to mention. But if you know how you say like best remakes, I'll have to throw this in there. The Hills Have Eyes remake, um Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake from O three. Oh, what's the other movie called? Fuck. Evil Dead. Evil Dead, that was a good one. O three. I'm sure there's a couple other ones. I just can't think of it. But, uh, yeah, those three are, like, top. And I know you guys see my Ninja Turtles shirt. Ninja Turtles. Boom, 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 boom. I actually have this on on accident. It's green. But um, I'm only saying it because I just I forgot that I had it on. I was seeing it in the thing. Actually, it's kind of cool how you see them and see, like, Rotate Turtles and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you see them and their weapons, but you don't see anything like, in the rest of, like, the background. Anyway. Usually, as you guys know, when I'm recording, whether it be a podcast or one of my random videos, I'm usually wearing a horror-related shirt. But, like I said, I got home around 8 o'clock at night. I had to hurry up and watch this movie. And I feel like changed my shirt. I was like, fuck it. I was out during the day. I'm not wearing a black shirt. All my, like, all my horror shirts are black. I do not need to be out there in a black-ass shirt. You know, it's too hot out, but still. So, yeah, that's why I'm wearing a turtle shirt in case anybody wants to ask. Hey, I'm wearing a Donald. Donald yeah. Duck. Donald Duck, huh? Aye. That makes me want to watch fucking cartoons, man. <laughs> it really does. 
This is this is one of my uh, I call it a weekend shirt. Usually, I usually wear it like on a weekend because I'm home every day now. I grab it because it's comfortable as hell. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. You know, I had me rolling this one time we were recording. I don't know if we were recording. Yeah, we were. And I had like a plain shirt on. And you're like, yo, this is like the first time I've ever seen you not wear a horror shirt. And that's it was. It's true. I mean, at work and everything, every time I've seen you, i never seen a plain shirt. You see this, people? I don't lie when I say I really wear my horror shirts damn near every day. Like, James is not only a good friend, but a coworker. Like, I had a horror shirt. Unless I had an interview. Yep, that's like the only other time. Which, which I had a horror shirt under. Like as soon as I take that button up off and fold it and throw it in my bag. That's true. I, I have a horror shirt ring right under there. Yep. That's true. And if, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if it was appro- appropriate and professional to wear a button up horror shirt, guess what your guess what your boy's doing. But people yeah. would frown upon that. Unfortunately, I get no. I don't get it. Fuck that. Like a suit design, like it looks like it's blood dripping down it. That even if it, that too, I would do that. Or like, say if it was just just like one of my shirts, but like a button up. Like, say if it was like one of my Friday Thirteen shirts, but a button up. And I'm really curious. Out. I wonder if they they have that out there. I don't know, but they should. They should. Be, oh, really? Here's here's another quick thing. Whenever, if and when we renew our vows, my wife wants to do this. She's the one who brought it up. I want to do that at our original wedding. No. She wants to be horror themed. That's awesome. It is. Like, do something horror themed. Probably something small. Obviously, horror themed. Have, like, some friends and family come in. That, that would pretty, that'd be cool. It would be. It'd, it'd make it entertaining. Now you got to do some vows that or horror related, too. I could do that. I could, I, I, <laughs> I could say this right now. I could write some horror. I can write a horror theme. But it would take me a little bit. Or even if you just throw like horror movies in there, like uh, "I Loved You Since Friday the Thirteenth," and I'll love you all the way past. Time. You know what? This is yeah. weird. <laughs> this is weird. I was to, like when I was uh, saying this, you were just looking like. I'm waiting. I was waiting to see if you could freestyle one right there on the spot. I was like, "Oh, let's see what you got." I could freestyle something. No, you want me to uh, freestyle yeah. something? Here we go. I'm going to throw the hills have eyes in there, too. Watch oh, there you go. Go for it. My eyes have been on you since the hills. Mm. Uh, <laughs> to be continued. Yeah, to be continued. <laughs> but it, it, ah, shit. That, it's it's going to be funny, though. But no, like... Damn, that is kind of tough. I have to... I'd have to like really, really think about it some and then see what I can do with it. You know you have to throw her uh favor in there for uh Nightmare on Elf Street. My life was n- like a nightmare on Elm Street before we met on Friday the thirteenth. Damn, bro. Look at you. There you go. Gonna have it right now by the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be some shit. <laughs> That's a good idea, though. It is. I think my I, my wife mentioned it one time. I think she said at a certain amount of years. I forgot what she said. I think um, it's ten years. But it's gonna be normal. She she does the normal traditional stuff. Nah. She's not into horror like us, and uh, so I won't be able to get any cool things like that. I'll tell you what. If I'm invited to it, I'll come there with Jason mask on. That, makes feel that would be funny. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> like I need him to be my best man. He can't. Wear- <laughs> He's my best man. He can wear that mask if he wants to. Pretty <laughs> hilarious. Oh, yo. Fuck it. So my brother, Dan, is getting a, a Candyman tattoo, like the hook. Oh, okay. He, he was showing me, like, different ideas. He was getting, like, first it was going to be Freddy, then Candyman, something, something else I forgot. And I was like, yo. And he completely ignored this. <laughs> they just kept going with the conversation of us texting. I was like, you know what you should do? I was like, get a tattoo of me. Wearing the Candyman jacket with the Freddy hat on. One hand will be wearing the Freddy glove. One hand will be the Candyman hook. He didn't say shit. I was expecting him to say something crazy. He didn't say, who's getting piped down? Oh, that's the the one who has the baby and her husband. They went to the station wagon. Ah, uh, wagon shagging. Yeah. Even though it makes no sense. They're, they're trapped in the middle of the desert. 
the father and is oh wait no they didn't leave yet no the father did no leave. yeah he's been gone because he I came back that. right yeah because it's dark out the father left yeah and they're worried and everything he has time to go do that he's like hey while we're waiting let's go <laughs> get some <laughs> i'm just saying man you know hey you got to relax yourself one way or another and that that that'll relax you That will definitely relax. It, it, it's a horror movie, too. So not all, but in horror movies, when sex happens, killing happens. That's true. It's like you go and you try to you try to kill the JJ and then you end up getting killed your damn self. Yeah. Yeah, think about it. How long? Okay, there's one movie. Put yourself in this movie. Would you survive? In this movie? Yeah. No. Wait. I don't know. I'm not dumb. I I think if I had like the guns, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I, I think I'd take more of like a leader role. I'd be like, listen, no one wander off. Let's all stay in the trailer. Lock the doors and just wait till they get back. And I'll have the guns right next to me. Okay. Just because you know, like if it's this day and age, I've watched a lot of horror movies. And that's what's going to pop in my head first. I'm like, listen, you watch that shit. You go out there, there can be a serial killer out here. Yeah. Something. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I will still go with no, probably, because if it's in this year. 77? Yeah, and there was like a whole bunch of them playing out, like attacking, like they did sneak in, like taking the gas out at night and sneaking in and shit when people were leaving. No, I'd probably, I'd probably die. I'll try my best to take out a couple before I die, though. I'll um, be one of those people. I'm like, if I'm dying, you're coming with me. Yeah. Um, for me, well, I mean, if you're gonna put me in this horror movie, more than likely, just because the color of my skin, I'm not gonna survive. <laughs> but besides, besides that, like, as far as like not splitting up and all this other stuff, I think I'd be with you on that. It's just like, look. Let's all stay in the trailer. Pretty much stay in one area. You know what I mean? Because the trailer's only so big, but stay away from the windows. Keep the baby or the, if there's women and children, keep the women and children safe. Like exactly. In the, kind of, and just kind of, I don't know how many weapons they have, but kind of sit back to back. Sit so. I think they, I think they had two handguns. Okay. And so. well, that actually found in the drawer, like the hatchet. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, even that, like women and children stay in the camper, fire outside. I'm going to keep watch. You sit out front of the door. Don't move from that spot. Or just stay in the camper with them, though. Or that, too. Because... Wow, oh, there it is again. The beetle has eyes. It's coming for you. All right. So, yeah, like, I would say stay in the camper because you figure... There's only so many ways that they'd be able to get in. But then again, I guess they could light it on fire or try to explode it. That would be the downfall. No, yeah, that's true. Because they, they blew some fire away. <laughs> that is fucked up how to get them out. They actually, that's true. They did that to get them out of the camper. That was mm -hmm. part of their plan. They did that big explosion. It was their, it was, they set their father on fire. Yes. Then they all ran and see what it was. And they've seen it was the father and putting them out. Mm -hmm. And that was basically the trap right there. Yep, but again, and again, like this is one of those things where you would have to have somebody go get help because you're way out in the middle of nowhere to where. Yeah, no, there is. There's no cell phone, so someone would have. I'm listen. I won't survive the desert. I'm not volunteering to walk seven miles to a gas station. I'll be the one sitting back. I'm like, hey, I watch everybody. See, and that, and that that's another thing too, because it's like, who do you send? You don't want to. You want to send somebody you know can get there and back, right? Yep. But you don't want to send your, like, strongest person because it's like, say something is going down. You send your strongest person or strongest people. So you, so you see, people. see, the right choice, the original guy who went with the father, mm -hmm. well, then go, but he went opposite directions. He was fit enough to do it, but the father was hurt. I would have had that. If that motherfucker can run and climb up a mountain in two minutes, the young dude, 
Yeah. He could have ran there and back in an hour. True. He ran after that dog that's going up like he was a professional rock climber. Just true. jumping up like bouncing off the rocks, springing like I'm like, damn dude. What? Really what? athletic. They should have had him done it. Honestly, they would have gave him the gun. Say, listen, you know where to guess, just follow this road. Go as fast as you can, get help, and come back. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have done. I wouldn't have had my, the, well, in the case in the movie, the father with the heart problem go. Yeah. That made no sense to me. Even though, you know, he is the leader. He's the father. He, he wanted to be protective. He's like ex-cop. But so he it's more he trust. Them, I mean, I guess you could see why. Too, cause he did put them in this fucking situation as far as. Girl, that too. Oh, let me go. Let's go look at some silver, whatever the silver mines, and fucking go off of this. Go off course. There's beast. Dog is a beast. Yeah, I had to fast forward in some. And it sucks with the um, how they did finally get in the camper, and they killed the one girl. At least she's got a stab in. Mm -hmm. The one blonde girl is just laying there, like oh, she could have got up and ran and saved her sister or whatever the heck that was. You know what it is about people with these movies. What I do enjoy about horror movies, just because of what you're saying, because I feel it's kind of realistic in a sense where you're gonna have that one person that no matter what the fuck happens when shit goes down, they're fighting until they die. They're just like, I have yep. to survive. Then you have that shock one. Then you have just... the one that's just like frozen in fear. Like, yep. What do I do? Like they want to do something, but. They're stuck in fear until they see something crazy happen, or it's too late and they get killed. Or they're here, here it is. They're frozen in fear no matter what. They're stuck in fear until something happens that, to somebody that they really care about, or they re by the time they react, it's too late. Yep. It's just like, and then like like I said, then you got the other ones who are just on the go. Like, oh, look, this motherfucker broke in my house. And I'm I'm going. I'm fighting. I'm going out. Yep. Whatever happens, happens. That's what that one girl did. And uh, so they shot her. She went down on the ground. She still, while shot, when the sister finally pushed the knife to her, got up, like sat up, stabbed him in the leg, even though I thought she was going to stab him in the nuts. And then he shoots her again. And that's what killed her. One shot killed the mother. Well, no, that actually didn't kill the mother right away. She, she sat there bleeding out, suffering for a while with blankets and everything. And you, I think you kind of expect, um, as far as a guy like us, you kind of expect our mindset as far as being in a situation like this. You expect yourself to be like, you know what? I'm fighting no matter what. But you, I mean, that's how I feel, honestly. And I probably would, and I'm sure you probably would too, if, if it's people you're there that you care about, honestly, because you just like, you almost black out like that rage just comes on. Not not to the point of where you're doing something stupid or you put them in danger, but you're just like, look, I got to do what I got to do to protect my family. Yep. But I feel, I still feel you still have that, like, everybody says that they would do that, but you don't know until you're in that situation. Like, That's I know true. it's a movie, but I'm just saying, like, a situation like that, I'm not going to lie, I'd be scared the fuck out of my mind. I would be scared as shit. But I still feel I would fight and do what I can to protect yep. Raccoon until my demise, I guess. Yeah, see, my mindset, like you said, until you go in that situation, but as of right now, my mindset, I'm going to try to protect myself and others as much as I can. Yeah. I'm not just going to shut down and give up. Exactly. Yeah, you can't. Again, especially if you're there with your wife and children and stuff like that. I think it's a little bit, I'm not going to say it's way different if you're there with your boys, but it's not going to be, not, not saying you're going to be protective of your boys because you pretty much look at them as family, but it's still like a different kind of like mode. Yeah. Or if you're just over there with, you know, your siblings, I'll say, or your, you know what I mean? Your significant other, your significant other, your siblings, niece, nephew, children. And I'll, I'll even say, fuck, with children, I'll say, it doesn't even have to be your children. They don't even have to be related. It's just children in general. It's just like, look, I got to... I, I think that's what it is. Yeah, anything a child, you might, like, automatically switch. Like, you got to protect. Yeah. I, I, a lot of people have that, I think. It don't matter. It'd be a stranger. You just meet, seeing the kid walking on the street. Your instinct is, like, to protect the kid. Yeah, but I mean, that's how it should be, though. But... I don't know, man. It's... Like I said, it's, it's one of those things where it's like... Uh, 
Oh, another thing about the uh, movie, you know, uh, the girl you're going to interview, mm -hmm. like, she almost got raped. She was in, she's the one that went into the shock of the fear. Yeah. But then yeah. towards the end, she was like, fuck this shit. She did like Home Alone shit. Her and her brother set up traps. Mm -hmm. That was pretty smart. They're good ones, too. That was good ass traps. You're right. Let, and. Like I the wheel thing, who would have thought of that? How strong is this? We'll set them, grab them by the ankles, and you floor it, and it will pull them all the way to us because they'll wrap around the wheel. Mm -hmm. And you the bomb with the matches taped to the door with the propane tanks, and he opened the door. Even though I don't know how he survived that, I think he knew he smelt it because that's what it's hint at. Like he was like really close to the door, like he noticed it. Yeah. But how would he open the door? How, like how did he do it? To make it go off. That's a good Like point. he must have done something and hid while that thing exploded. Because he wasn't there. He didn't have no burn marks. They thought they got him. But uh, every time I fucking put my hand. I don't think I killed it. I hit it. But I don't think I killed now it. Now you stunned him. You just slapped him to the floor. He's going to get up and fuck you up now. I not know where it went. Yo, if he flies and lands on your face and you freak out, I'm dying. I'll see it. I'm gonna see. That's it. it. That's the end. I'm gonna get up, just leave, laughing my ass off, screaming. Ah! Uh, Make my wife up. What the hell's going on? Oh my god! I do have a complaint though. I just remembered. I did not like how it ended. Really? I did not like it. He stabbed them to death. It did not tell. It did not show them being rescued. Mm. It just ended. Like they killed the last one. The girl was behind them. The the one of the girls won them. Mm -hmm. But she was trying to escape him, holding the baby. He kills the last guy and he just sits there, then it just says the end. I was like, Whoa, wait a minute. There what is the a hell? part two though. I don't remember part two from the original ones. There's a part two of the original? Yeah. Yep, there's a part two of the original and there's a part two of the remake. Okay. I didn't know there was a part two of the original. I thought it was only part two of the remake. Huh. Yep. Okay. But yeah, that, that ending was weird. It just, I'm like, wait a minute, what happened? I <laughs> thought he was going to kill him. Like, they're going to walk back, see if the other two were okay. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden you see like a chopper, like the Air Force actually comes. But it didn't. Something, you know. I'm yeah. like, that was a weird ending to me. So I was like, the thing is, as soon as I said that, I was like, really? That's the exact words I get in my mouth. I said, really? Fuck. I was just shocked. I was like, okay, that was kind of dumb. But it was still a good movie. Yeah, overall, it was. It was. And you know what I liked about this movie, too, is, which we always say this, there wasn't too many survivors. True. I, I, especially with a movie like this, you don't want fucking... Okay, so who, it was the family. It was... The two siblings that, you know, they're at the end right now. The two siblings, the husband and the wife. With the baby. With the baby. And the wait. mother and the father. The older the cop and the uh, wife. You have the, you have the two couples, that's four. You have the siblings, that's six. And the baby, that's seven. Yep. If you don't want the majority of them surviving, you don't want, like, you want maybe three, four. Well, hang on. Let me survive. Okay, so. One, two, with the baby four. With the baby four. But it makes up because the other, it, it don't matter what side. If there's a group of uh, killers or monsters, if there was action where multiple people died, like a whole handful, because mm -hmm. there's like the whole five on the other side died. So True. it was like constantly people dying. It was, it was, you know? So that's what made it cool. If it just dragged out and only three out of the whole movie died, that would have sucked. Like that like, one scene. In the camper, and that's it. I'd be like, what the fuck? And the dog survives. Well, one of the dogs. There was two. Yeah, Beast. Beast survives. Beauty died. There's the one, he's the one that got gutted. And eaten. And eaten, yeah. But Beast, yeah, no one's taking that dog down. He got shot at. Even the boy shot at it when it brought the walkie-talkie back. <laughs> they thought it was a guy. He started shooting at the door. He was like, I got him. I thought he was going to open the door and finally killed his own dog. 
smart fucking dog to pick that up. Yeah, the dog came out of the woods. It was like, yo, motherfucker, look down. Like, why'd you shoot at me? Little bitch. <laughs> I should kill you. Yeah. <laughs> should rip your freaking throat out. But no, that dog was badass. Good name, too. Beast. Oh, they yeah. match with it. Yo, that's the only thing. They laughed about Beast killing a poodle. Remember that couple when Beast killed the poodle? Really yeah, they were choking about it. I was like, damn. I was like, that's not funny. Your fucking dog killed a dog, another dog. Yeah. Uh, if they said, like, oh, remember we're in the woods and it killed a squirrel or something, I'm like, oh, okay, poor squirrel, but okay. Poodle. But not as someone else's dog. I'm like, damn. Like, how the fuck do you still have the dog? They take dogs. Yeah, I know. 1977, I guess that's allowed. You just laugh it off. You look at the neighbor and go, oh, I'm sorry, your poodle should have been in my yard. Pretty much, I guess. <laughs> oh. I thought that part was messed up, but it makes sense because that, that dog. That dog does not fucking play. Should be in part two. Should be the main star. Beast <laughs> Returns. Beast returns. He just goes to the, he goes to the desert. He looks around. He goes, "I remember this place. I smell more. I'm taking them all out. <laughs> <laughs> Get these bastards out of here." So but yeah, I wish they were more mutated though. Yeah, just because it would have gave him more of like a um that deformed kind of look or that uh, yeah. inbred look. Yeah, they just had. they were just some of them are extra hairy. Yeah. Mainly the the real one had a mutation was the son when he was born twenty pounds and everything. That's probably from because that they were that near the testing site. That's a big fucking baby. Yeah, but like I said, the real guy he looked like he was only like six one. He wasn't no giant monster dude. He was hairy, but he wasn't no giant dude. <laughs> but that's a big fucking baby, fucking a twenty pound baby. And he said it came out sideways, almost split my wife in half. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Then he tried to hang himself. He thought it was down coming for him. Yeah, it was the, like, I thought you were someone else. Yeah, the detective came in. He was like, get your ass down. <laughs> so, uh, ratings. Ratings, all right. What do you want to call it? I was about to ask you that. Well... Mm. I don't know. From a negative 10 to a positive 10, how many... You know what? Let's just give it Beast, because Beast was a beast. There I mean, you go. Beast, would you give this he, was a, he was a hero of the movie. Let's give it to him. I'm going to give it a... I'll go first. Go for it. Seven. I agree. I was going to say seven. I was thinking between six and a half and seven. You know, it, it deserves a solid seven. Definitely rewatchable. I will watch it again. I'm not sure when. But it's definitely rewatchable. I've watched this movie a few times. I haven't seen it in a little while. Um, enjoyable. It gets the third thirty stamp of approval. I know you guys haven't heard me say that in a while. I meant to say it for Pumpkinhead, but I think I forgot. And, yeah, I recommend it. I'm always going to tell you, but I, I'll never tell you not to watch a horror movie. I just won't recommend every single movie that we've discussed. <laughs> yeah, because there is some bad ones. Like, like bullshit. But, uh, but I say give it a shot. It might You might like movies. That's how I found a lot of movies. Like okay. I said before, I said this many times. When I first got Netflix, I typed in the search in horror, and I was just clicking clicking until i seen something like oh this looks cool i i mean i didn't read no bio mm -hmm. i just went straight off of what the cover looked like i said oh never seen this before let's click on it and that's why i learned about b movies and all that shit because i didn't know there was like i knew there was movies never made theaters but then there was like some low budget ones you're like all right what the hell someone made this and you find some good ones you don't know until you find even if it's a knockoff like, for example, The Nun that's out. There is so many movies out there now about a nun. Even looks like The yeah. Nun. And I'm like, isn't that like uh, copyright? I'm like, that guy looks exactly like The Nun. There's one, But they'll call it like The Bad Nun. That's the one right there. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Bad. But hey, you watch it, it might still be a good-ass movie. I want to see that one. So There's a lot of movies I've seen. We're gonna we're gonna do alone in the dark next, right? 
Because we're supposed to. Be yes, that's from the top fifty of horror movies you might not seen or something like that. Yeah, that's it. Yep, we have to continue that. So it's Alone in the Dark. That's our next one. Alone in the Dark is another movie called Alone with Her. At first, I thought it said Alone in Her. I was like, what the? That is Whoa, a horror movie. Like wrong channel. <laughs> wrong movie. I'll still watch it, but not what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, I think it's on there. I think I found it already. I think it's on. I was curious. It might be on the uh, Cinema HD. Okay. Because I don't know if I found it in Tubi. I don't, I don't think so. I can't remember. Aaron doesn't remember. And, of course, you find out Prime. They try to get you to do a seven-day trial or. Oh, if it's on, like, cinem- not Cinemax, like Showtime. Yeah, I got Prime, right? Yeah. I shouldn't have to do a seven-day trial or something to rent a movie. I'm like, what the hell is this shit? I'm not paying $3 for a movie from 1955. <laughs> out of here. For one, you should pay me to watch the old-ass shit that people seen 10 million times. I wish. I, I understand newer movies, like a year old. Mm-hmm. Like, not new ones that just came out. Like, if they yeah. drop, you pay full price for those, like, whatever it is, nine ninety nine or whatever the hell they want to do. But if it's, like, two ninety nine, it should be at least a year old. Anything after one year, if it's, like, two, three years, it should free. It should be on the damn prime. You should be able to watch it. Always trying to get money over something. You already get a hundred and fucking twenty dollars from me for your prime, <laughs> fucking rip off bastards. <laughs> and they don't. Most of them don't even do the two day shipping anymore. Because the COVID, I know. Oh, the whole COVID shit. I'm like, yo, what? Should I get a refund? Sometimes. If I have to wait a week, anyways, that's your normal service. <laughs> it's still free shipping though, right? That's a good thing. Well, yeah, it, that's true. It's still uh, free shipping on most stuff. I'll say. I'm, I think I got a couple of things that's to, had to pay shipping for. Yeah, I'm not it's, sure though. It's not with the Prime thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not gonna listen. You hear me rant about this little stupid thing? Am I gonna stop using Amazon? Nope. Fuck no. Amazon's the way to go. <laughs> so we both gave it a seven on this. Seven. Yep. People need to watch it. If no one did, some people probably never even knew this existed because this day and age, a lot of people like the remake. They think it's the original. Which I, I, I could see that. I could see that. And I mean, the remake was done really well. Again, I feel like the remake was better. I do too. From memory, I would say the remake is maybe an eight or a nine. Even though that one blends in with the one we just did. Yes. I, we, um, fuck. What was it? Wait, what? what the other mutated ones. The other movie we did, it was like this. And I always blend them. I said, oh, shit, I keep mixing them up with Hill Has Eyes. and uh, Oh, yeah. I can't remember now. Shit. My memory is garbage. We just, wow. we, you know what it is? Because we've done so many fucking movies recently, over these past few weeks together. I just had it, too, and I blanked. Because I was about to say in the mid-sentence. Around my booty. I'm hungry. Damn, I forgot. But them, the similar movies. Yeah. Yeah. But both good. I wish I remember the fucking movie name. I wish I remember the fucking movie. <laughs> we just did it. It was basically like this. They're all in the fucking woods or mountains, and they hunted people like Arrow. They ate them. Or whatever the hell else they did. They were like inbred mutation people. I don't remember. I it, Oh my god, I'm blanking too. This is bad. It feels like we only did it like two weeks ago or something like that. <laughs> we probably did, yo. We probably wow. did. Was it from the list? I'm not sure now. It might have been. That's so fucking funny. It wasn't wrong turn, right? Could have been. We did do wrong turn. Yes, yes. Wrong turn. It's kind of the same thing. They take the wrong turn, wrong yeah. road, and you end up with people like this in the woods. Well, th- yeah, that's true. The only difference is, I mean, desert was, but the father purposely took that route. I mean... That's true. It wasn't a wrong turn. He was, he was going there to go see some fucking silver mines or some shit. 
That is true. But, day, you know. All good. It was funny, though. Good movies. It was funny. But, um, shit. Here's where you can find me, people. Facebook group. Horror was <laughs> I had a <laughs> like my mind technical mind. difficulties. Like, completely blank. Okay, so horror research thirty. I have a Facebook group. Feel free to share anything and everything horror related. Again, it's called Horror Research Thirty on Facebook. I have a Horror Research Thirty Facebook page. That's where you can get all the news. That's where I know I said it's the last I mean to record, and I, that's what I started doing. I think I did. But all my podcasts and everything is gonna be posted on the page from now on. Just on the page. Just so you guys can both get more action on the page. And the group is just for fun horror stuff, memes, your stuff, my stuff as well. Like, for example, when new people join the group and when I drop a random video, not my podcast video, but random videos, I'll continue to put those in the group and everywhere I share them. So please like me on Facebook, join the group on Facebook, Horror Research Study on YouTube. So you can see the random videos, all the videos that I put out, including these ones, the podcast. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, streaming, you can hear me on all those, the big ones, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, all the rest. If you ever want to see me gaming when I do start streaming again, which it will be soon, maybe even this weekend, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. Um, my email, shoot me an email, horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. Again, that's horror with sir, sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. I'm having trouble talking tonight, so I'll say it one more time. Horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com and there you could just shoot me an e- shoot me an email, let me know you want to come on the show. James, thanks again for coming on, man. No problem, anytime. And uh yeah, that's pretty much it, people. And I'm sure the next time me and James record again, there'll be a lot of ranting. And then uh yeah. <laughs> Segment random talk with yep. Sir Sturdy and James. <laughs> so as always, I'll see you in your I gotta get something to eat because I'm hungry. That keto ain't starting for another two weeks. I gotta enjoy this. <laughs>